We're here post fight at BKB 31 with Jack McLean. Jack, commiserations. How are you feeling? Oh, I'm very disappointed because I felt I was. First round I was winning, he was taking his time, you know. So I was picking my shots, landing a few shots, but second round he picked it up. It's a bit more even. But the last round he stuck it on me big, he hit me, rocked my jaw. He spun my jaw. I went down after that, I was fucked, I was just trying to survive. But then I tried to maybe, I just didn't have it in me at the time I was hurt, whatever. He was a lot bigger, that psyched me out slightly, the fact that he was heavier. And he kept catching me again there. Then I went down, I thought I was saved by the bell, I thought. But you know, it is what it is. But I was so heavy, see I got so massive, look. That I broke the chair when I sat down at the end because I got so massive. I'm, see, I'm like Arnold Schwarzenegger now, but bodybuilding don't win fights. As you can see, the guy looks like Andy Ruiz, you know, and I'm looking all sick, but this is boxing, the skill wins. It's more experienced, but hey, it was a great fight and oh. wicked fight. An honour to fight him. Oh, man, what the fuck? I'll leave you to it, George. Listen. God bless you, man. Respect where it's due, mate. Yeah. He did what he did, so yeah. I, I took him a bit too unlikely. Oh, well, now we're joined by George Hilliard. George, they don't call you hit hard for nothing. How are you feeling? Um, I'm ecstatic again. So we got the win, but I didn't box as like, obviously the team were not too happy getting cut and it's not about what I'm about. So, um, yeah, so, but I did what we had to do in the end. Just my experience and I give him too much respect in the first couple of rounds. And in three, round, three minute rounds like this, you can't do that. So um, I've got a little telling off and um, we'll be back and ready for the next one. Now, this fight, just like your last fight, one thing to commend you on is your composure. You know, when your opponents are coming at you with a flurry of punches, you stay so composed. What, how, how do you do that? It's, as I said in, in the last interview, it's, it's uh, you can't get in a bath without getting wet. So, and I don't mind getting wet. So um, it comes with the territory. We get cut, we have to take it on. Keep you cool and keep you calm and, and, and get the job done. And that's what I, I had to do. Now we could see how much pain Jack was in during that fight. Does that give you kind of extra motivation? That's a little smell. We saw how hurt Jack was in that fight. Yeah. Does that kind of give you an extra motivation, extra drive? Do you smell yeah, blood? Totally. Yeah, well, listen, that's the best, the best he's boxed by, by miles. And um, I genuinely thought I was going to blow him outside around. I thought once I connect, but he come out such, f I thought he was going to come out fast, but I didn't think he was going to come out that fast. But um, give respect, give respect where it's due. He did what he had to do. But um, as I said, I'm a winner. I do, it's what I do now. I train, I've trained hard, so I never cut no corners in the yard. And um, this is just a part of the trade. Now, the judges had you, had Jack up in the first round. How do you, you know, after losing the first round, how do you get the drive to keep on going and, you know, yeah, improve just, the game? Listen, as I said, you've got to have A, B, you've got to have the alphabet. Jack only had A, uh, and, I, I've, and I, I'll keep saying this, I've got the alphabet, so I'll just keep getting better and better and better, and I'll step it up every time. I do whatever it takes to win. That's, my, that's what I've got to do, and you did, I did exactly that tonight. You're now 2-0 and in BKB. You're establishing yourself as a force to be reckoned with within the sport. What's next for you after this? Um, listen, I'm not going to be disrespectful to no one, so whoever Jim puts there, I'll, I'll take. So I'm, I'm, not, I'm not one for calling people out. So um, let's see where it takes us. I'm here to stay, so I'm here to stay and win some titles. And, and um, I've got an exciting style for everyone to see. And um, it's only going to get better. Now we know how experienced you are as a glove boxer, but is BKB your sport now? Are you fully committed to it? Yeah, yeah, I like to think so. But as I said, money talks. So if I got offered a contract or uh, money to fight tomorrow boxing, I'm going to take it. I'm not going to turn down where I can set my kids up for life. So I know for this is going to be the, the, the next path. Well, George, fantastic fight. Well done. What a performance. Can't wait to see you fight again. Thank you for having me on, mate. Brilliant.